Hello everyone, this is Tommy with Studio Sense. Today I have a little bit of a fragrance haul that I wanted to share with you. To my left, which would be your right, I've got Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo Signature. Very excited about that. I've heard a lot about that fragrance. Beside that, I've got uh, Banana Republic M Hom for men. And then I've got Vince Camuto for men and Vince Camuto Hom. And then of course, to my far right, which would be your left, I've got Desire Blue by Dunhill which is the blue version of the red, very popular red desire by Alfred Dunham. So without further ado, these are all wrapped up. I'm gonna pull a little bit of video editing magic and, and there you go. First up, we have Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo Signature. This is, before I've even tried it, I know gonna be an amazing fragrance. It has all of the winter conditions, I like I'm a weatherman. It has all of the components, the notes of a fantastic winter fragrance, and I can't wait to try it. It's got roasted coffee, it's got nutmeg, it's got cardamom, it's got tonka, it's got leather, musk, patchouli, mandarin orange, cypress. There's a ton of notes in this. It's gonna be fantastic. I know it is an EDP, so as a parfum, I expect it to have fantastic longevity as well as projection, sillage. So can't wait to try that one out. This one is a little bit of a mystery to me. I know it's gonna be more of a spring or summertime fragrance. It's got fig, plum, sage, rosemary, um, some other pear, I believe, some other citrus and woods as well. So I believe this is gonna be a little bit on the lighter side. It's gonna be a spring and summer fragrance and it's only challenge I think is gonna be longevity. I think it's gonna to struggle to keep that nice mixture going and a little bit on the lighter side, which could be why they're, it's an 125 ml bottle. You ever notice that? A lot of fragrances that come in larger quantities are a little bit like skin scents. They want to kind of give you to make up for that, give you a little bit more, a little bit extra. Maybe that's not the case, but it seems like that sometimes. Vince Camuto is going to be an in interesting. It also has some great notes in it of leather and musk, vetiver, black pepper, uh, nutmeg, patchouli. So similar to Signature, Uomo Signature, Vince Camuto is going to be a great winter fragrance but also a versatile year-round fragrance as well. Of course, Vince Camuto Hom is a man, is a blue version of that. And when I say blue version, completely different ingredient set. You've got lemon, you've got juniper berries, cypress, fennel, lavender, cedar, musk, artemisia. So there's quite a bit in, in the blue. Sometimes blue versions are kind of meh, a little bit on the generic side. Essentially, these are these are all gonna be very safe fragrances, maybe not this one so much as these guys here. Now, this is the blue version of the Red Desire, which is one of my favorite date night fragrances from Dunhill, after Dunhill. I'm looking for this to be really nice. Now, I haven't heard anything about this, so looking forward to getting it. So let's get right into it. Now. It's gonna be a little bit weird, so you'll have to excuse me, but I was so excited about getting this when I get it, when I got it in the box this morning. I took a shower and I haven't put anything on because I wanna wear this. So I'm not actually getting a strip out, I'm gonna wear it right here. It comes with a neat little to keep you from, psh, psh, you know, inadvertently spraying it on something or wasting your juice. So you take that off. This looks like, <laughs> this looks like a lid, but you actually turn it and you can spray it. Okay, All right. turn it this way and it's locked, but I'm gonna spray it right here on my hand. Oh yeah, that's a good bit of spray. It feels a little bit awkward because that at the top of the atomizer is so big, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I wanna get some right here. I gotta cover my mic so I don't get it. For all day wear, two or three sprays of this fantastic projection. This has such an aromatic, uh, almost gourmand sweet aura. It's not quite gourmand. You don't really feel like you're, it's syrupy or sweet, but it's very much, I love winter fragrances because they are so deep and they, the layers are a lot more complex. This really, really speaks to me. You know, if you heard the term that, oh, that I really resonate with that. I really resonate with this. It speaks to me. I'm going to do a new list of winter fragrances. It's going to be 
right up there in my top. You watch when that releases. It's definitely going to be in my top. Fantastic, fantastic winter fragrance. Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo Signature. It is one, one of the reasons I really, really like this is it's inexpensive, easy to own. It's very accessible as a designer fragrance. Super impressed. Let's try out Banana Republic's M, Hom, M for man. They also have one that's a W, obviously for women. Sorry about that. I had to raise my chair up a little bit. It was like slowly going down. <laughs> I think the hydraulic pressure is going bad in it. So, all right, let's get this guy right here. M, which is man. Take that off. These bottle are always a little bit awkward. It's, it's very similar in shape and size. Kind of reminds me of Black is Black or Tommy Bahama bottle size. Okay. So I better do it away from my electronics. So. Okay. Limey, mate. All right. I do like this. It's very, yeah, you can tell it's a very light fragrance. It's very summery, very springy, very limey, very citrusy, but extremely light. I will say this right here, right off the bat. And I did blind buy this, so you wouldn't have to. <laughs> It's a safe buy, but this juice, even though you get a lot of it, is not going to go afar. Like this is this is something you want to during the summer or the spring. Uh, you, you come home, you take a shower, or you get up, you take a shower, and you douse this all over you just to give you something to kind of give you an aura or an ambiance uh, while you're kicking it at the house. But before you go visit your friends, hang with the guys. Uh, go to dinner. This is something that you'll not want to wear again. It will be a skin scent by then, so you can wear something safely without it conflicting with another, you know, with this fragrance. So it is extremely light, but I do like it. It's very light and refreshing, like a glass of lemonade or a glass of limeade or something like that. Kind of what it reminds me of. It's super pleasant, but it's almost, it's very ethereal. It's like there and gone. So very much a skin scent. All right, let's check out Vince Camuto. This one I'm very intrigued by. I do like someone, I think I, I read something in a forum, someone said they like this because it reminds them of a, something that a protagonist in Final Fantasy might wear because it's like steampunk or industrial, something like that, which I agree. I really like the, the silver and the black leather. It's a neat combination and it's the cap as well. Let's see on the top of the cap. Vince Camuto's been a, a good you know, designer. Good sprayer, good atomizer. Oh yes, okay. Right on the top, you've got that bergamot, that little bit of mandarin, black pepper. As it dries down, I'm sure it's gonna give a little bit of the, the nutmeg. Yeah, a little bit of lavender, nutmeg. But I do like how that bergamot and the mandarin, the citrus is sticking with it. A lot of, a lot of uh, fragrances that are high quality will actually, of really good quality, will actually do that. The citrus in the beginning that, that typically is very is, is there and gone will actually burn into the mid and sometimes into the dry down, but mostly is gone by the dry down. But this one is going to be one that burns into the mid. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more of the woody notes. Kind of a musky vetiver. You know, you've got some woods, some spices, a little musky vetiver. This is definitely fresh, clean smelling scent. This is a come home after work. Put a couple sprays on take the wife or girlfriend or significant other out to dinner and a movie kind of uh, i wouldn't call it a date night fragrance but this is an established relationship kind of fragrance if you're in a relationship and you're going to go do something together uh, after a hard day of work this is your guy vince camuto kind of reminds me a little bit of the robert cavelli it's very smooth in the sense of euphoria for men is smooth it's got some really nice qualities about its scent profile and DNA, so I really do like that. Excellent for the price. Excellent, excellent buy for the price. Let's check out the blue version. I don't really know much about the blue version. We've traded out our, our black industrial for blue, which is gonna be more, uh, typically it's water notes, aquatic notes, sometimes ozone notes. Let's see what we've got in this. Sometimes it's ozonic notes or aquatic notes that we've got. Oh yeah, good bit of juice there. 
Oh, sweet. Okay, so I like this a lot more than I thought I would. So this is airing on the side of not aquatic, not the blue aquatic, but the blue lightning storm. And I call ozone lightning storm. Whenever something really has kind of a fizzy, this has kind of a fizzy, effervescent, bubbly, ozonic, nice, bright sensation and vibe to this. So this has a really, really bright vibe. It is not a barbershop smell. It is not an aftershave smell. It is a fresh, clean, almost not like a shower gel, but a shower, like a fresh out of the shower, but a very lemony. It kind of reminds me of a, it's very spring and summer, very summer. This would be a great warm weather or hot weather fragrance because of that lemon that's in it. It's very, very zesty. Zesty is a great term to use to describe. Vince Camuto Alm. So definitely wearable on any occasion. Because of that, it does broaden the versatility. The versatility for both of these uh, Vince Camuto fragrances is very wide. The range is very wide. This lends itself to being a little bit more of a winter fragrance because of, of the leather and the musk um, and the nutmeg. Those are all ingredients of fragrances that are winter fragrances, but it also can be worn in warm weather, summer, spring and summer. Uh, let's check out Desire Blue by Alfred Dunhill. I do, I love these bottles because they've got the little lid that flips off. And the atomizer typically is really good on these as well. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's a really, really good bit of juice on there. Close that back. And I do like the bottle. The bottle's got kind of a hexagonal. Oh, wow. Yeah. So getting really strong in here. <laughs> so it definitely has that red DNA, but it is on the blue side. Now this is a, this is airing on the side of aquatic, but it also reminds me of, you ever walk into like Bed Bath & Beyond or Yankee Candle or one of those stores that as soon as you walk in, you get hit with this very familiar fresh scent. It's almost like somebody lit a candle or lit a bunch of candles. That's what this reminds me of. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that waxy, it just has that fresh, clean, it even isn't really synthetic at all, but it does kind of remind me of, of one of your favorite candles. So very fresh, very spring and summer as well. Definitely not really. So, you know, we've got spring and summer right here. We've got uh, winter as well as spring and summer, but more on the winter side with these two guys. So we've got kind of a combination of, of all the seasons in these five bottles. I would say that out of these five bottles, the only one that I, and I'm not gonna use the word regret, but the only one that I might like do a double take on, or if I had money and other choices, I might choose something else, um, would be the M from Banana Republic. It is very pleasant smelling, but there are a lot of other fragrances that smell, you know, this pleasant, yet go a little bit farther. Like this strip is almost already gone off the strip. So this is gonna have, its biggest challenge is gonna be longevity and projection and we all want our money's worth when we buy our fragrances with projection and longevity these are going to be average to excellent this one of course because of the edp concentration these are going to be good to average and this one is going to be good to average as well this one i super fresh I, I, all these are super fresh i really really like them so what else can i say but fantastic addition to my current collection i'm super happy and super stoked and excited that you could share this with me. Thank you so much for stopping by and supporting me on my channel. If I haven't told you that recently, I really do appreciate your support. Well, that's it guys on this particular fragrance haul. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.